and how it is constructed or not. So we're going to present the way uh, present the, the way of making computer and I think it'll be a good way to learn the structure of computer. Uh, firstly, you can, uh, uh, the purpose of making computer at home is it's cheaper and it works better with the speed and great graphic and it's upgradable and you can put what you need. But there's a dis disadvantage that there's no warranty. <laughs> and we need some materials to make computer <laughs> basic tools. Screwdriver and pinchers. And what? Pinchers. What is that called? Screwdriver. I know the screwdriver. What's the other one? Pincher? Pincher? Mm. Mm. This is mother board. This helps the CPU to has its order to every part of computer. And this is CPU. Uh, it's like a brain of computer. It gives order to every part. And this is a fan that uh, cools the computer when it gets it, when its temperature getting hot. Mm -hmm. And this is hard drive. Uh, this is where you save your files. Mm -hmm. This is power that gives power to computer. And this is memory card. Uh, it it uh, saves quick memory, which is if you open file, it goes into here. But if you save the file, it goes into a hard drive. card, also known as video card, it helps computer to perform the graphic. So if you don't have this one, you don't you cannot see the screen. Mm. And if you have a good quality of this card, you can play 3D games or you can see 3D images. Mm. This is TV reader. You get to see and... Looks like it's going to be a giant computer. No, it's not. This is computer case. And the process of making computer is <laughs> different. And next I'm going to try to present you about the stakes of building the computer by yourself. And here's a stake one. You start from the CPU, and first you take up your motherboard, and you will see the little square on the motherboard, and there's where you stake up stake for your CPU, and the CPU looks like this, and you can see the little hole at the on the CPU, and this is help you to not to place into a uh, stake into a wrong place. So if you put it into a wrong place, you you can not stake in. So you don't have, don't have to worry that you 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 will place it in the wrong. How big way. is it? What? How big is it? It's just like a little square like okay. this. Yeah. And yeah. Mm. Uh, 
this has to be careful. And then you have to cover it after you set it, put in your CPU. And then uh, and there's a cover. You have to keep it. Right? If your CPU or your motherboard have some problem, you can cover it. Otherwise, you uh, you don't hurt your motherboard or CPU. So please keep this cup. This cup. And then we are going to step two. Step two, we are we are, uh, we are using a memory card. And the picture is kind of old. So for nowadays, motherboard used to uh, usually have four four place for your memory card. And then also, also the memory card has a hole on the on the memory card, so you don't have to worry about that. You place into the wrong way. And then the only thing that you have to do is to keep it a little bit pressured, pressured until you hear the sound cut. Uh -huh. That means that you, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. And it's easy to upgrade to a gigabyte for nowadays. And then step three, we have to we, are, we have to uh, we are going to stake the marble into the computer computer case, and then you have to find a, find a place, exactly place to save your motherboard. Uh, it's different for every case, so it depends on your what your case, like what the case you have. And then there's a little piece of metal on the computer case, so you have to tear it out. Mm -hmm. And there is where you use your tool. And you can try to use your hand, but you may cut yourself or okay. <laughs> and then you replace another another metal on it. This this one goes with the motherboard. Mm -hmm. So if you if you open your motherboard and you will see this one in, inside the box. So and make sure that you set up tight. And then the what? Set tight. Like uh, not not well, then everything fit? No? Stable, yes. Ah. Stable. And then step forward, we are going to step the, uh, the, put the fan of the CPU. Why, uh, because the CPU is the, the hardest part of the, of the computer, so it has its own fan for the CPU. And then you can see the, I don't know how to call that. Little things around the CPU for for like food something mm -hmm. so that you can place. You don't have you don't really have to worry about that. You just, you put it into a wrong place. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, you see that little like a foot of the fan. Like me. Okay. And set five, we're going to put the DVD reader into it, and you just there. Usually have three three places for you to put your DVD readers, so you just need to put it in, and then you have you don't need to worry about the cable this time. We are we are going to the cable later, and then step six is about a hard drive, and there's a two kind of hard drive. This is the one of the traditional hard drive, and there's another one called SSD. I forgot the the whole name of SSD and uh, yeah yeah and the SSD used the different technology so you, its speed is faster than the uh, traditional hard drive. How fast is it's like you open your windows no more than five seconds. So, so yeah you open your computer no more than five seconds. And but the problem is that the the gigabyte is still low, like, and it's too expensive. Like the SSD I'm using is 120 gigabyte, and it spends like 100 dollars. And yeah, it's just 120 gigabyte. And for a traditional hard drive, you can go to a one TB or two TB. And then six seven. We are uh, going to put the graphic card into the motherboard. And then, yeah, the picture is kind of old, so the graphic card is different from the, the one before. And 
there are like two two places for you to save your two or three places to save your video, uh, video cards, and it looks like a little bit like the the way you uh, the place you put the memory card, but it's, it's shorter. So and it's at the back of the uh, computer bag case case. And then also give a little bit pressure until sound the kata. <laughs> you hear the kata, yeah. Yeah, and make sure it's all stay, stable. And then state A, this this is the state that we use uh, to connect the cable. Uh, first, uh, you can connect the hard drive, and the the picture is a little bit old. So the hard drive, the the place we connect hard drive is for, for nowadays looks like this, and the white one run faster. Mm -hmm. And for the ASUS, they also give you the two two additional uh, places for your com to connect the hard drive. And then the DVD is yeah, it just looks like you don't have to worry about the you if you put in the wrong way. If you uh, because the motherboard used to have the word on the on the motherboard that, like you can see. Uh, if you really don't know where exactly you want to put, you can see the user user guide or something. Let go with the motherboard. It will, sh it will show you where exactly you have to. You can connect the DVD readers with the motherboard. And then those those cables come uh, goes with the the uh, computer bay, a case like USB. Power or uh, sound lights, lights on the on the uh, case, and then you can also you can find the motherboard. It has shows the the name on the on the motherboard that you can connect. Like if it, 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 if it's for USB, it was write USB on the on the top of the motherboard, so you don't have to worry about if you connect to a wrong place. And then next is for power. Power is to usually put in the top of the case or the the bottom of the case. And then it's it's, it's obvious, so you don't <laughs> you don't have to worry. And then connect the power with all of the things such as DVD readers and hard drive and also motherboard. And also, you can see the name the, and it shows. Actually, it's just you can see the the head of the the cable. You can you can see where where it is actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hard drive and the DVD readers and step can is and you almost done. You just uh. But it looks a little bit messy, so maybe you can do some organize of your cable and will be nice for looking. And then just make sure everything stable and then you are done. And step 11 is the, <laughs> it's after you, you put your windows into like your computer and I'm not sure you where you get your Windows 7 or Windows whatever <laughs> or Mac. And this one, these three things go with the motherboard. Also, go with the motherboard. This is the driver of the motherboard. And you have to keep this this disk with you unless you're still using the just using the same motherboard. And after this driver is to what is it? To active the the Every part of the yes, kind of connect or active something. And if you lose these things, you don't uh, this you don't have to worry because you you just need to remember the model number of the motherboard. Like this one is P A P six seven. You just go to the ASUS web official website and go to the download part and give them your model number and they will tell you where uh, which kind of drive you need to download. And also, there's another one, drive, uh, 
at least go with the graphic card. So we just need to keep those disks. And the conclusion is that if most, lots of people think that building the computer by yourself is very hard, but actually it's not. You just need to have some, do some homework about what you want, what you want, and what you need. If you are the gamer or the 3D image designer or something, you probably need a better graphic card, video card. And if you just want to go onto the internet and do some basic work, you don't have to work, uh, buy too, too expensive equipment. So, and that's why I want to show you about the step of building the computer by yourself. And thank you.